Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another digital plan with me. This week we're going to be planning out the week of April 12th through the 18th. There is quite a lot going on this week. My mom is turning 60 years old. Her big 6-0 is this week. So we're going to be doing just a tiny little celebration with her on Tuesday, the day of her birthday. So I'm really excited for that. One thing that I am very nervous about is my youngest is having her first dermatologist appointment. So I've talked about this in a couple other videos, but Julia has something called a port wine stain birthmark and it's all over her left foot, her left calf, and then it kind of goes up on her thigh and it's on her left butt cheek. And we saw a dermatologist for it not too long ago and he had suggested doing laser therapy on it because as she gets older there's a very good chance that it's going to get thicker and kind of give her some some trouble so we already if we don't put like aquaphor or a really good moisturizer on it it gets really dry and because of where it's located where you know her foot is and her ankle and everything those areas where her skin kind of creases can get cracked which is obviously painful for her so the laser therapy is supposed to help quite a bit with that so she has her first appointment this upcoming Thursday and honestly I am I am very nervous about it but I know that it is the right decision for her so yeah so we have that going on this week I would love it if you guys could pray for her I hope that everything you know goes very smoothly for her that she does not feel much discomfort at all it's going to be interesting she's going to be awake for the procedure they're going to put some topical you know numbing medicine on top of it before the laser treatment they didn't want to put her under unless it was absolutely necessary which i definitely you know support i don't want to put her under if it's not necessary but she's also one and a half years old and so having a toddler sit still it's supposed to be a pretty quick procedure I guess it's maybe 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes they said so anyways I'm not gonna be able to go to the procedure with her I'm gonna be staying home with Maddie because the hospitals are still pretty strict about how many people can go in and all that kind of stuff Maddie's gonna be home from school by then so Andrew's gonna take her I have to work until 4 30 that day her appointments at 3 30 um, I obviously will take the day off if I need to, but yeah, that's just kind of what we decided is that Andrew would go with Julia, I would stay home with Maddie, so I'm going to be kind of a mess probably on Thursday. I know it's like a very minor thing, you know, it's, it's not, but anyways, it's, it's just, it's your baby, you know, when it's your baby, you just don't want them to be in any pain or anything like that, so naturally I'm going to worry as her mom, but that is going on this week as well. But I'm also just like excited to get that over with. One thing that you're seeing in this digital plan with me is something that I've gotten a lot of questions about is how to turn your digital planner into an hourly. And I wanted to show how stinking easy it is, especially in the lined vertical. You can do this in any of them. Maybe the horizontal would be a little odd, but I feel like the lined vertical is the best layout for an hourly option. And so, I just used the text tool and I picked my favorite font. I did Paper Flowers, which is a font that you'll see in the planner. And I purchased that font on Etsy, just FYI. So some of the fonts that I use, I do purchase. Uh, some of them are from, uh, what is the website called? Is it DaFont or something like that? DaFont is a great website to go to if you want some free fonts. Um, some of them you do have to purchase a commercial license if you're going to use the font in your product. So just FYI, you have to be kind of careful with that. Um, but if you're doing it for personal use, uh, it's, I mean, go crazy, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyway, so yeah, you just put, use the text tool, put that in. I just put the hours six to nine, I believe, because that's usually the hours that I'm doing something, although I'm trying my darndest to wake up a little bit earlier because 
I need my morning routine back. I used to be so good about having a morning routine. And I just, ever since we had Julia, we had a lot going on these, these last like couple years. So I just haven't gotten back to it, but I really, really need to. So I wanted to show how easy it was to create the hourly. And what's really nice is that you can very easily just copy and paste those hours into all your other spreads and everything. So it just, it makes it really easy using the lasso tool to just lasso it all, bring it all over to the next page, you know, all that good stuff. Very quick. Um, so yeah, I love how it turned out. I feel like I might do the hourly in my lined vertical moving forward. I just really liked having like that reference there. So yeah, I tried some new things this week, as you'll see. I tried doing quite a bit of new stuff and um, it's always fun experimenting. You know, you kind of get bored with doing the same thing all the time. And that's the cool thing about like planning and stuff, even with pen and paper, you can experiment, try different stickers in different places and all that kind of stuff. You have more flexibility in my opinion with digital because obviously you, you don't have to worry about like ruining a page or like having to reuse stickers and it's lose, losing its stickiness and things like that. But yeah, it was just fun doing something a little bit different today. So this week, I kind of mentioned this in my video yesterday, my weekly check-in video. I've been quite burnt out lately, <laughs> been very burnt out lately. Um, and I didn't really realize that that's what it was until I started going on Google and searching for like burnout symptoms and stuff like that. So I was going to read some of them to you guys because this is not fun. And I don't really know how to remedy this situation because I don't feel like there's anything that I can truly like take off of my plate at the moment. So, okay. Signs that you're bur burnt out. You're exhausted. Yes, I am definitely tired a lot. Um, you're turning cynical, a lack of interest in work that can be negative. I feel that with certain things, feeling useless, <laughs> I'm depressed, you hate your job, <laughs> everything gets under your skin, your mind wanders, sleep is tough to get, you have headaches. You get gut pain, you turn to comfort things like um, drinks or drugs or food or whatever that might be. Blood pressure I haven't checked. If you're thirsty, your vision's blurred, calling in sick a lot or all that sort of stuff. So I don't have all of those symptoms. I was just kind of listing off the symptoms of burnout, but I have just been in a funk in a funk this past week and I've been trying to get out of it and it's it's very tough so I'm very excited that we have some exciting I'm very excited that we have some exciting things going on <laughs> but I am I'm excited my sister-in-law Sarah is coming into town with my niece Ava they're gonna actually be here tonight so I'm very excited for that tomorrow we're having my good friend Kelsey's baby shower she is having twins I've mentioned that a few times but she's having a little boy and a little girl and I cannot wait I cannot wait. Her shower is going to be so fun. We've been working on it for quite some time and I'm excited to see it all come together and to celebrate her and her husband and the twins and like spoil them and all that kind of stuff. I'm just very excited for that. So, and then I think we're going to go out for breakfast and stuff as well this weekend. So yeah, so I've just had, I've just had a rough week and sometimes that happens. Sometimes weeks or days are just tough. And you have to kind of be honest with yourself about the level of support that you need and everything. I was going to therapy quite a bit not too long ago. Ever since we moved, I feel like I haven't found a good therapist yet. And I, I think that everyone, quote unquote, could need a therapist or would benefit rather from going to a therapist. But I haven't felt like I've really needed a therapist. Like I, it hasn't been a priority. Could I benefit from having one? Sure. I feel like anyone could, but it hasn't been on my radar lately. I feel like I've kind of had myself in check. I've been very connected to my faith and I feel like that has helped quite a bit. But yeah, so um, 
yeah, it's burnout, you guys. That's what it is. I was trying to put like a finger on it and then I started kind of just Googling things and stuff and I was like, I am burnt out, which makes sense because I do work full time. I run a business. I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a house that I have to manage. Andrew does a lot. He does a lot of that stuff for me, which I'm so grateful for, but it's just a lot, you guys. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, and unfortunately, my full-time job, it's not super easy to call out of work because then I have to cancel all these appointments and things like that. Um, I know for some people, it's easier. For me personally, it's harder to call out. I, I just, so I don't, I, I need to. I know I need to get more comfortable with it, but it, the process of calling out is not super like straightforward and easy with my full-time job. So I'm less likely to do that, but I need to definitely schedule some vacation here soon. And I've mentioned too a couple times, and I'm sure it's probably pretty easy to figure out, but we are working on making some changes with my schedule, with Andrew's schedule. He's looking to go back to work part-time for benefits purposes. The benefits with my full-time job are admittedly not that great. Um, so. Uh, Costco's benefits are phenomenal and I miss them. I miss them very much. So he's going to be going back to work for that reason. We're hoping and praying that he'll be back at Costco very soon. Um, and yeah, one of you, um, I don't, I think it was Carrie, uh, mentioned that I dropped like a bunch of like big things in my, my weekly check-in last week. And I, that is true. Um, we have a lot of big things going on, but we, we are planning to watch the twins once uh, Kelsey goes back to work. Her husband is a cop and she works at a university as well. So she's going to be going back to work after her three month leave. And we're going to be watching the twins a couple days a week just to kind of help them with daycare. Cause as you can imagine having two infants in daycare, woo, <laughs> expensive. So between her parents and us, we're hoping to, that they don't even need that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be happening and we just need to, we need to make some changes. There's, there's some things that I didn't think would be possible and then realized that it would be. And now I'm, yeah, in the moment right now, I think what's frustrating the, me the most is feeling very stuck and I am just such a kind of control freak to be honest that I want to know what, and this is something I have to work on constantly because I this is not good, but I have to know what's what's around the corner. What how what is the timeline? How is something going to work out? Like I I want all the answers. I want to know all the scenarios. I want to know what we're going to do if this happens. What we're going to do if that happens. And I know that when I start going into a tizzy. <laughs> if you will, with that kind of stuff. That's when I need to lean on our Lord more. And so that's what I've been trying to do is just dive into my Bible, pray. I, I've been journaling. I got this really nice um, like devotional type of journal thing. So I've just been leaning on God because I, I trust his plan. I trust his timing. I know it's going to work out. It's always worked out, but when you want something so bad and you like dream about it and you just constantly think about it and you don't know what the next step is, you don't know what something looks like. It's just, it can really consume you. And I think it's been consuming me massively. And I started reading. Thank you, Sarah, so much. I adore Sarah. She has been filming Sarah Marie on YouTube. If you don't know, I know I was just talking about my sister-in-law, Sarah. I love Sarah too. Both Sarahs. <laughs> my sister-in-law and friend Sarah. I She has started uh, reading more and she's been sharing her um, videos about her books and stuff like that. I used to be such a big reader. I was constantly, constantly reading. It was just my passion, my everything. And then I had kids, so the reading kind of slowed down, obviously. And then I was required, or I am required, to read for my full time job as well. And then before that, even before my current full time job, I would read a lot of personal development books. I was really into um, 
Well, I was, I, I don't know if you guys know this about me or if I've mentioned this before, but I used to kind of work for Beachbody. I was, well, I was a coach for them for a little bit. Um, and one of the big things that they promote coaches to do is to read personal development books and all this kind of stuff. And I've really fallen out of love with the whole personal development thing. I've just realized that for me personally, it, it definitely benefits people. There are a lot of benefits to personal development. I'm not like knocking it for everyone, but for me personally, when I look too much inward and I'm not focused enough on serving others, on connecting with God, with, you know, just keeping my faith strong, when I'm looking too much in at myself and just analyzing all of all of me and just focusing way too, too much on myself, that's when my anxiety and my depression is the worst. And that's for me personally. So I kind of have stepped away from the personal development realm and I am just focusing on reading for fun. And right now I'm reading a book um, called, let me grab it. Uh, it is Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. I borrowed it from my friend Kelsey. And I am loving this book so incredibly much. I have The Hating Game, which was a book that Sarah recommended as well. And then I've started watching other YouTubers who read and share their you know, reviews of books and things like that. A lot of them recommended The Hating Game as well. So that is next on the lineup because Crescent City is very intense. Um, and I'm going to need something a little bit more light <laughs> once I'm done with this book. Plus it's very long. It's I think 800 something pages. So I've started reading for fun again and I'm like making sure to prioritize that time and have like 45 minutes to an hour at the end of each day to just read. And Andrew's on the opposite realm or side of the spectrum or however you want to say it. He is all about personal development right now because that's what he feels he needs in this present moment in time. So it was funny because I he saw the hating game come and then he knows that I'm reading this Crescent City book and he's like he's like don't you feel like you're kind of like wasting your time like you could be reading and like learning something or you know developing yourself further and I was like no no I don't feel like I'm wasting my time at all I feel like I'm wasting my time more when I'm watching a show or something but reading for fun is just an escape for me and it's made such a huge difference in my life like since I've started, it's not like I've been doing it for very long. I just started reading this book, but like, holy heck, <laughs> it's just like made such a difference and I love it so much. So I feel like that is helping with the burnout a little bit because it's just an escape from all the other identities of Stephanie, the employee, the business owner, the mom, the wife, the house manager, the friend, all those different things, you know, and it's, it's just something else. I can, I get attached to these characters and I get to focus on their story of their life. And it kind of, it takes me out of all the other stuff. You know what I mean? So anyways, I feel like I've rambled and rambled on, but, um, I just wanted to, yeah, update you guys on what's going on. And next week, Andrew's going to be applying to Costco. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm trying to just stay optimistic I sometimes I get these doomsday outlooks on life, which is not good, but sometimes I'm just, I, I think it's just my way of like preparing for the worst. Like if the worst happens, this is what we're going to do. And so I don't know. I need to be more optimistic. I need to just give it to God. That's what I need to do because <laughs> that's what he wants, right? He wants our burden to be light and uh, to cast all of our worries to him and to just have faith that his plan is greater than our plan and his timing is flawless. So that is, that's going to be the plan moving forward is <laughs> just, I'm trying to just connect more to my faith, go to church, do all the things, you know, talk to God and just, and that's the, the biggest thing for me personally, for strengthening your faith is just talk, talk to God. He wants to hear from you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have some conversations with him about it. And I obviously talked to you guys a little bit about it too and what's going on. So, but that's pretty much it for uh, this digital plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different. Sorry if I'm a little bit scatterbrained at the moment. 
I feel like I my brain is just in a million different places. I'm also like looking at Crescent City and like wanting to read right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm being pulled into that direction. I'm just gonna maybe take like a 15 minute break once I'm done with this and read for a little bit because I left off on like quite a cliffhanger last night with it. So I'm very tempted to read more. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope that you have a great weekend, that you've got some fun things planned, and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.